Alright guys, we're back for another part of this head sculpting <coughs> tutorial. So let's just keep on going here. So first thing I want to do is just start uh, working on his lips now. We'll work on his nose after that. So we want to make sure this looks good in all angles and it doesn't look good in any angles right now. But uh, a way to bring out these lips is to uh, draw them out. Just uh, add a volume and once you've done that you want to go to pinch turn the strength up and then you just want to pinch them together like so and that'll add that that uh, it'll add that crease that they have and in order to bring them together you just bring up the size and take down the strength take it down some more and you just want to bring it together like so and you can go press G to go under grab and just uh, kind of tweak it. And uh, another thing you can do is to give the lips volume is to inflate them. So, and that'll bring them together and make them seem like their uh, lips are together. And then once we, you have that, you can go ahead and pinch these small parts again. Uh, one, another thing I want to do is going to draw here and uh, draw in this part here that lips have. All right, and then we can go and press go and smooth here. Whoops, and uh, kind of smooth them out just a little bit. And then let's go to draw again, and we'll uh, turn the strength up here, turn the size down, so we can have that little indention there and it doesn't look good right uh, at the moment but it will later when we have more uh, polygons because we only have uh, 27,000 faces and that is extremely low for um, for sculpting alright okay let's continue Let's just keep moving. So let's go back into draw here. And uh, actually, let's go to grab and let's start working on this nose here. So we're gonna bring this part in, bring this part out, and bring this part down. Now, let's go ahead and bring out the this part here, like like that. Okay. Now, what you want to do is you want to go into draw here. You want to turn the strength up fairly uh, nice amount. You want to press shift and start bringing in or uh, pushing in the I forgot what this is called. The uh, I think it's the nasal labial fold. I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. But uh, you just want to bring that in and then take a, uh, the smooth brush, just start smoothing it out. I'm going to draw here. The size down and bring the strength up. Oops, hold shift and just bring that in like that. And then you want to bring the, the strength down and bring out this uh, round part here. Let's bring this part in here and let's go ahead and smooth all this out. Now, one thing we're going to want to do here. Before we continue, is uh, just so that when we get up to a high amount of vertices, you want to go ahead and um, let's go into object mode here, or is it edit mode? Um, well, I don't know where the other thing is, but what we, we want to do here is when, when we're in sculpt mode, you want to turn on partial redraw so that um, this speeds up things so that we can, uh, it makes it so that you can use more polygons it just speeds things up a little bit okay so moving on okay so what I want to do now let's check see where we are let's turn the strength up again and uh, let's go ahead and um, start bringing in or just expressing the cheekbone here by bringing in a cavity here around it and I also want to get that uh that fold around here. Actually, we'll save that for when we have more 
more polygons. So let's go ahead and pinch this area together. Because that's how you, um, with Blender, that's a really great way to get nice looking detail is to push something in and then after just smooth it out and it leaves you with a fairly nice result. As you can see. We also want to do this with the brows. So let's go ahead and uh, make some brows. Maybe not that big. Okay. Now let's smooth them out some. Now what you want to do is going to draw here. Bring the strength up and we're going to do like so. Then we're going to pinch them. And if you uh, forgot, you uh, you um, push in by holding shift. Well, you want to just pinch this part here. And then you want to go ahead and smooth it out. All right. And you can see now, as we're progressing, we're having a nice looking face. I'm actually really happy with the way this is going. I thought this would be a lot more difficult, because whenever I make a tutorial, it never goes quite as I would like it to. I don't want them to look mean. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so we're actually at a very good pace here. Let's continue working a little bit on this area here. It's going to draw. Let's go ahead and uh, push that in here. And smooth it out. Smooth is your friend in Blender sculpting. It really makes things look nice. Let's go down some subdivision levels here, right about there, and press grab now. I'm not quite happy with the way his lower jaw is formed. So uh, another thing I'd like to do really quick, press draw here, let's go ahead and uh, accentuate his jawline. just a little bit and then this part we'll go ahead and pinch just a tad just right there and then we'll just smooth it out smoothing alright let's go back up to that layer that looks good yeah so anyway back to what I was doing originally let's go ahead and uh, fix his sh the shape of his jaw just a little bit And you see, you can really see the uh, transformation of this character already since from the progression of a cube to what we have now. It's really, really great to look at. Let's keep working over here. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go to inflate. Or actually, let's go to layer because I just want to I just want to add a small layer here. And then let's go back into draw and we'll subtract some here. And then we'll go ahead and uh, smooth it out. Okay, then we're going to pinch. Bring that back in here. Let's also pinch this middle portion here. Like so. Okay, and uh, one more thing I want to do. Let's go over to, you see level one here? I don't. Uh, I don't need this or this level. So let's go to level 3 and then we'll delete lower so that this is the lowest level we can go to because I don't want to go any lower than that. And uh, yeah, so that's it for this part. And be sure to watch future parts on this head sculpting tutorial. And remember, after we're done sculpting this head, we will get into retopologizing. And uh, that's kind of, um, it's that's the boring portion. But uh, I'll show you guys some techniques since I haven't uh, covered retopology yet. And uh, it's a great way to do a head like this because when you retopologize, the vertices uh, automatically snap to where this model is here. 
so we don't have to worry about conserving volume and things like that. Alright guys, so thanks for watching this tutorial and be sure to watch future tutorials. Alright guys, thanks. Bye.